right, so let's start with making our card. This is our aqua box card. This is the paper that I'm going to use for the front of the card. It's a nice fishy looking paper. You can use whatever makes you happy. This is the paper that's going to form the background of our water. So we'll start by putting on our decorative paper on the front of the card. Something very easy. You want to try to get it somewhere near the edges so that it doesn't come up, of course. You don't need to use tons of glue. Um, enough to make it stick. And then we're going to put it on the front of the card, centering as best you can. There'll be a little a bit of a margin around each of the sides. Okay, so that's done. Let's move to our water design paper. Again, this is the background that's going to make it look like the water in your aquarium. So use whatever works for you. The paper that I'm using is some I got at Dollar Tree. This is some holographic paper. Um, it's a very nice color, but it's very difficult to get glue to stick to it. And you have to hold things for longer than usual. <laughs> Right, we're going to put this on the upper part of the inside of the card, right against the fold. Once you get it in place, you can close the card and give it a push down to smooth it out and make sure it sticks well. Now we're going to move to the inside of the card. Um, this part will form the box that goes around uh, your fish and your scene and forms the front of the aquarium. I'm going to put a little foil piece on first and then some an, a black frame inside of it. Uh, if you don't have foil, you can just use the black frame, it's fine. But I just think it looks a little bit nicer with a, a little bit of, oh, I don't know, chrome look, like some aquariums have. And we're just going to put the glue on. You could probably use a roll-on adhesive for this part of the card. It would work nicely. Uh, but I have glue handy. And so I'm going to use it and probably make a mess on the foil because every time I use glue on foil, I seem to make a mess of it. So a clean wet cloth, a little bit of alcohol or water, usually will clean it right up. And then I dry it off with a tissue or something dry. All right, next uh, we're gonna put on our black piece. And again, I'm probably going to mess it up with the glue, but let's go for it. I like the roll-on adhesive for a lot of projects, but it does tend to get a little expensive after a while, so generally I prefer to use glue if I can, and if I'm being really lazy, I'll use the roll-on adhesive. Okay, try to center that as best you can over the opening. And that's going to be the front of our card. Now we're going to put that in place. You'll notice that when you fold it, one end has a tab and the other does not have a tab. So the tab part will be up on our when we open the card um, to, to look at it. So the bottom part without the tab not this end, not the end with the tab. The other end, without the tab, is going to be against the fold inside your card. We're going to put it face down because we'll want to see the front of the card when it's all opened up in, in the end. And we're going to glue that part, that last section of the card, against the fold on the inside of the card. So that's going to glue just below where you put that water colored paper. Again, close to the fold and just press that down. You can close your card and give it another little press just to make sure everything folds nicely. And there's the tab at the top and that's going to go against our card at the top like this. And you can see how our aquarium will come together. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is build the little sand dune structure 
that's going to hold our fish. The larger piece is going to go on first. Again, the same rule, the end without the tab is going to get, go against the fold. The end with the tab is going to go against the top section of your card. Let's go ahead and glue that into place. And just get it up next to the fold. It's a little bit narrower than your card, so just go ahead and center it. And once that's down good, we're going to be gluing it to the top of the card like that. In order to get it to stick correctly, though, um, what we'll want to do is fold it in half and have the tab sticking kind of out like that so that when we fold the card, it will automatically position itself in the correct place. So let's go ahead and put some glue on that tab. Flatten it out a little bit. And close the card on it. And press down really well to make it stiff. And when you open it, it should form a little box. And that's the first of the two boxes that we're going to use to give some three-dimensional depth to our aquarium fish. Okay, we're gonna basically repeat that same process with the smaller piece. So again, one end has a tab, that's gonna go on the top, and one end does not have the tab, that's going to go against the fold. And when we're done, we'll end up with this little box next to the first box. Okay, so put some glue on the untabbed part of that piece. Push it up against the, it's actually up against the base of the box that we just formed. And then we're going to fold that, put the glue on, and fold the card shut again. So again, fold it in half. It's a little hard for to see here. I'm just, just making sure that everything folds correctly before I glue this one in place. And I think I like that. Okay, so this is what we're looking for, is that sort of shape. So we're going to Put the glue on the tab. The piece is going to be folded. I'll try to show you here. Okay. Hold that down as best you can and then close the card. Push down very hard because we're starting to get more thicknesses here so it's a little harder for it to stick. Once you have decided it sticks well, then you can open it up and you can see how we formed our two boxes. And the front of the aquarium is going to go around that. All right, so just checking out things here. Make sure everything moves reasonably smoothly. I think at this point I'm going to put my little castle on the background. This will go right against our the paper, our water paper part, and against the top part of the first box. So you want to make it look like it's sitting on that little box of sand color. I chose sand, but I guess you could also choose a paper that was look like pebbles. Anyway, we're going to move now to the um, to, to the Weeds, I don't know, weeds, water weeds, maybe they're just water plants. We'll put, a, we'll put one there on the back next to our castle.
And again, we're putting it at different levels so that we get that three-dimensional effect. This is the furthest back as you're going to be viewing the card. And we'll add a couple more. So if I can get this where you can see it. These will go on the front of the large box. We'll put maybe three of them on there with a large one in the middle, a couple smaller ones on the side. The box does kind of want to flop shut. I'm sorry about that. It's hard to hold it and do the video at the same time um, as I'm trying to craft it. But hopefully you'll see, get the general idea here. Again, I'm putting these on the front of the largest box card. So that when we open it up, they're going to be standing up straight. You don't want to put them the wrong direction. If you're not sure, just fold the card up and make sure that it looks right when you put it on. When you uh, put it on, that it looks right when you open it up. I'm going to put a couple more plants right there on the front of the smaller box. Okay, so now our plants are all in place and we'll want to do, I guess we'll want to do our fish next. It's going to be the same idea when we do our fish. We're going to put them at different levels. And you can see when we fold it up that we're starting to get some dimension there. All right, we have a lot of different little fish that are part of the print and cut piece that I included in the file. There's also, you'll want to cut some acetate uh, strips. Uh, those are about a quarter inch wide. And you'll want to cut them somewhere between, I guess, about an inch and a half and three and a half inches tall. You can always cut them a little shorter or cut an extra piece and make it longer. Um, and just to get your fish at whatever height you want them. So I'm just doing a guesstimate here. Looks like we're about three inches, so... I'm just going to cut several of these pieces that are somewhere around three inches. They could be three and a half inches. They can be two and a half inches. It's actually better to have them uh, slightly different lengths, a little bit random, because we're going to be having our fish swim at random heights inside of our water, our pretend water anyway. So I've just made a bunch of our little fish on their acetate sticks and we're going to go ahead and put these in. I glued a turtle to the actual back of the, of the uh, card and I think I'll put a fish or two on the back as well. The smallest fish are best to put on the back side and then work toward the larger fish as you go forward. It will give better dimensional look that way. Here's my little fish right on the smack dab on the background paper, the water paper. And now we'll start after we get all the fish we want. I think I'll put that one behind the weeds. Yeah, okay. Got it there. Um, then let's start putting the fish in that are not flat against the background. This is the same idea as we did with the water plants. Mm. We'll put the medium-sized fish that we want to use along the front of the larger of the two boxes. And then we'll put the smallest fish on their sticks in, on the front of the smallest box. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for all my fish. You can watch me. If you fast forward, if you want to skip this part and just do it on your own. I 
think after you've done one or two of these box cards, um, well, obviously you can change what's inside. It doesn't need to be fish if you want to do a little, I don't know, dollhouse scene or something like that. Um, you just need to change what's what you're putting inside. So we're putting several fish at the level of the front of the of the larger of the two boxes. Again, you want to work with your fish from smallest at the back to medium in the middle to smallest at the front. <clears throat> I actually don't even know what kind of fish some of these are. I recognize the clownfish because of Nemo, of course. Let's see how that's looking. Make sure it's stuck down. It's looking pretty good. Now you can add more fish or less fish. It just depends on how many you want in your aquarium. I think we'll move to the larger fish now. Again, these will be the larger ones in the front because of more of a perspective. And we'll put a clown fish up here. And... Sometimes the acetate takes a little bit longer to stick. Okay, that one I'm going to make a longer one. Yeah. No. I changed that to a little bit longer piece of acetate underneath that fish so that it would go for a little bit further up. Again, these are somewhat random, and you can change the length to whatever makes you happy. You don't have to use every one of the fish. This is just, they're there so you can get a little bit of choice. Well, that's looking pretty crowded for our aquarium. I think it's about, it's probably enough there. We'll put these aside, use them in another project. So this is how our box is going to fold up. Let's put that. So you can see the 3D effect that we're getting right now. So the next thing we're going to do is put our sheet of acetate over the window. You'll just want to make sure that it covers the entire window. <laughs> also, you want to make sure that it doesn't obstruct the fold uh, when you fold over the piece. So if you decide to hand cut a piece of acetate, just make sure that it's not too long because you want to be able to fold it over like that. Again, it's acetate. Make sure it's stuck down really well. And now we're starting to see how our aquarium's going to look. Okay, we still need to put a piece on the top of our aquarium here, another black piece. Could have done that earlier. <clears throat> to be honest, I kind of forgot about it. So we're going to do it now. So that's ready, and we're just about ready to put this together now. So we're going to fold over that top piece. This is going to be the same technique as always. This card, for some reason, didn't fold perfectly. I wonder if I had it in a little crooked when I, when I folded it. Anyway, um, it's close enough. 
put glue on the tab, fold it down, just like you did with the boxes, close the card, and push down. Be sure you don't catch any fish if you have some fish that are reasonably high. Just kind of make sure you slide it against that back so it doesn't catch any fish in between it and the card. You can just close it up, push it really tightly closed. This is one of the pieces going to take stress, so make sure that it's completely dry before you try to open it up. <clears throat> There's a insert card that goes on the inside. <clears throat> I'm going to probably use uh, the pen tool to write some things for my mom on this. So for right now, I'm not gluing it down. On the front of the card, I've got some foil. I think the one in the file says, hello, but you can make whatever you like. If you want yours to say something fishy going on or something, whatever. You can put whatever you want on the front. But right now, I'm just gonna push this aside. I'll put it on later. We have one more piece. It can either be plain, in which case, if you want to, it leaves a little bit of extra room for writing some little greeting or something fun on it. Or you can emboss it. And I chose to emboss it and put it up as an embossed piece on here, just decorative. I'm not going to add any further message to it. So whichever way you do, uh, go ahead and glue that in place. You can leave it plain if you wanted to. Just a little extra nice. And that's pretty much our completed card, uh, the structure of it. So I've glued the words on the front, the hi mom. And I think just to finish it off, we've got some of our extra little fish. So let's put a few of those on the front to help decorate it. They can swim with the other fishies. And certainly there's no set thing you can do with these. If you want to put a manta ray up there as, on the front, that's fine too. To me, it was a little bit too scary for a happy card, so I avoided the manta rays. I like the turtles, though. That's why I wanted to put one of those on the inside of the card. All right, so however many fish you want to put on the front is fine. Gotta have a Nemo. I'm thinking if I did one of these cards for one of my grandkids, I'd probably just want to do mostly Nemos on it, mostly of the clownfish. Anyway, here's our card. Open it up. We'll have our sentiments on the inside and a very 3D look to the card. Turn it around here to maybe see a little bit different angles. And that's pretty much what we've, we've got. I hope you'll enjoy making it. It's not terribly difficult and it looks pretty good when it's done. <laughs>